Welcome to this presentation. The agenda for this presentation will be unit plot plan. We last in previous video we have already discussed the overall plot plan. In this video, in under unit plot plan, we will be covering two things. One is general definition, and other will be the stages of unit plot plan. So in this slide, we will discuss all the <coughs> uh, definition related to plot plan. What is plot plan? Why it is important? So if you see a unit plot plan is an arrangement drawing within a common battery limit area. Try to understand this definition. We are talking about a battery limit. Battery limit means a specific area within which whatever arrangement is there, we call it unit plot plan. Okay. Usually designed for independent operation. This unit will be having its own operation. It has nothing to do with other units. Uh, except for inlet and outlet, it has its own independent shutdown. If we go for a shutdown of a unit, it has no impact on other units. So that kind of arrangement is called unit plot plan. It highlights the equipment and supporting facilities, uh, sub pipe rack or building etc. This so everything which is within a common battery limit is called a unit plot plan. This is just a general definition. So equipments are arranged in a logical process flow sequence okay we have to understand the process flow sequence uh, through pfds or pnids whatever we have with us we need to understand that sequence and only we can arrange the uh, equipments so the purpose of locating these logical uh, arrangement is to reduce piping and pumping cost this is the main uh, purpose so this is all the more important when the piping involved is of stainless and alloy steels so when there is a stainless and alloy steel is involved the cost will be more so that time we need to be very careful while understanding the logical process sequence so once logical sequence is understood then only we can reduce the piping so we divide this unit definition into two parts on site or off site okay so on site means a process unit Offsite covers all other facilities of the plant. Offsite facilities are interconnected by fairly large yard piping, which run on pipe rack or slippers. There are pipe rack and slippers in unit also, but those are very small and within the battery limit only. So the location and routing of the most economical pipe rack and slipper covers major part of the offsite layout. Equipment and structure shall be so arranged to permit access to crane, monorail, david, platform, ladders to service equipment such as compressor, exchanger, etc. So we need to arrange all these equipment in such a manner so that crane can go inside and perform the maintenance activities whenever it is required. Okay, so all these vessels will go into detail when we cover individual section. For example, when we do the compressor uh, piping system, we'll discuss these things in detail. A good unit layout takes into account the most important features such as economy, appearance and arrangement of equipment. It should be aesthetically good, <coughs> proper operation is ensured, maintenance facility, safety consideration, ease of construction. These all we need to take care when we develop a unit plot plan. Basically, economically, economy means installing a unit in a smallest possible space. If you see the smallest possible space means we have to use minimum real estate. Real estate is having so along with the real estate we have to take care its operability, maintenance and safety aspects also. So this is all about the general uh, things related to plot plan, definition of plot plan and uh, types of plot plan. Okay, we will go into detail when we discuss individual equipments. So this is just a general, general discussion on this. So see, this slide is about stages of unit plot plan. As we have discussed during our discussion on overall plot plan, we discussed different stages of overall plot plan there. Similar stages are there for unit plot plan also. For example, okay, we divide it into two parts like preliminary stage and final stage. During preliminary stage, we don't have final uh, information related to equipment, PNIDs. Okay, we uh, sometimes we have PFDs only. So that kind of raw information is available at start of the project. Based on 
all these things we start developing our unit plot plan so first step will be to first step will be to understand the process sequence based on pfd or pnds we start locating our equipment first okay so based on whatever information is available we issue a revision of unit plot plan which we call it issue for review this goes to all other discipline as well as other stakeholders like client and pmc they provide their own comments we incorporate all these comments and we issue it again for approval by that end we start getting final uh, vendor drawings pnids so whatever information we were using here it becomes much more mature so we update our unit based on that information and issue it for design so again it goes to all stakeholders like uh, client and bmc and they provide their comments and they if they don't have any comment they provide their approval okay. so based on this uh, issue for design we update our 3d model and all these activities keep on going later on when the information gets more mature and we are able to incorporate all these comments then we issue it for construction sometime at this stage we issue it for construction with some holds which we take approval from client okay we have these disease holds but we want to issue this for construction so they provide their approval and we issue it for construction and once all the holds are removed we issue it for construction this is the final stage of the plot plan so based on that all the uh, site activity starts like uh, actual foundation work is done at site underground work starts based on this document so our unit plot plan goes through all these stages these are general stages every plot plan has to go through these stages so this was the first uh, discussion on unit plot plan we have discussed general definition and stages of unit plot plan in the next video we will discuss what are the various inputs which are required to start the development of unit plot plan i hope you enjoyed this video see you in next part